we will study hierarchy of operators in this presentation when you write your exam you will find that there may be some problem depending upon this topic and also in your matlab coding you will find it very helpful so we are going to study it before we actually start our programming in the matlab so the first thing to do is to see what are the operators available to us then we will see the priority of the same and do one example a very small lecture so the first operator available to us is multiplication and it is denoted by this star it is a normal multiplication in matlab we are also having element wise multiplication denoted by this dot and then star we will study about this thing separately we are having a division and it is represented by a slash then we are having addition plus subtraction minus and then exponent by this symbol so these are the operators now we will see the priority of the same the parenthesis we are going to solve the first okay and also in the parenthesis the inner the inner parenthesis will be operated first okay so we are done with the parenthesis after the parenthesis we have to solve the exponent or you can say that we have to do the exponentiation and it is from left to right which means the exponent appearing in the left first will be solved and then the exponent appearing in the right very simple thing then we will do the multiplication and division here there is and which means that the priority of multiplication and division is equal and in this case also we have to move from left to right the multiplication or division appearing on the left will be solved first then we will go on to the right i hope you are getting this then the last one is your addition and subtraction again there is and which means that addition and subtraction are having the same priority and left to right so this is all about the priority order now you can solve this example easily so let's do it the function f is there which is given by these things so the first thing that we have to see for the parenthesis now in this you will see that there is no parenthesis so no problem we will see for the exponentiation so there is exponentiation here and uh, only one exponentiation so there is no need to look for the leftmost and the rightmost there is only one so we will solve it first 4 divided by 2 multiplication 4 plus 4 divided by 8 and 2 to the power 2 gives you 4 the next step is to solve for the multiplication and division because we are done with the parenthesis and we are done with the exponentiation eventually there was no parenthesis in the problem so the division is there on the leftmost side so we will deal with this division first so let's do it 4 divided by 2 gives us 2 then the multiplication of 4 and the rest of the things will remain same in this step again we are having a multiplication on the left most side so we will do this multiplication 2 multiplied by 4 gives us 8 plus 4 divided by 8 plus 4 now again we will see from the left side and I found a division is still left and the rest of the things are addition and we know that the division is having the higher priority than the addition so we will do this division first so there will be 8 plus 4 divided by 8 gives you 0 0.5 plus 4 now we are almost done we are having only addition left but there is one more important thing is that you have to operate the leftmost addition first so this is the leftmost so let's do it 8 plus 0 0.5 is your 8.5 plus 4 now this is the last step we are having only one operator left that is your addition so 8.5 plus 4 gives you 12.5 and this is your answer i hope this example cleared your hierarchy of operators how to deal with it it's a very simple topic but very important at the same time because it helps you write your code in the matlab so this is all for this presentation see you in the next one in which we are going to do a very interesting thing that is our start of the programming in matlab so see you in the next one